Hello, my sweet friends. Hello, hello. Give it just a second and see if anybody has time to hop on. Just mess up on my hair. Let's send some invites. Let's see. If you're hopping on, say hi. Who's here? Hey, Jenna. Say hi if you guys are hopping on. It's kind of delayed, so I can't tell who's here. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Jenna. Hey, Terry. Yay, we're getting some ladies on here. Hi, Kimberly. Hello, Becky. Yay, I'm so excited. We're getting some ladies to hop on. Hi, Paige. Hi, Ashley. Kayla, hi friends. I appreciate you guys hopping on. Hey, Nadine. Shut that door. If you guys would share this video and, and with your friends, that would be amazing. So, you know, I first off, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I decided this week I wanted to do some things where... Um, you guys got to pick what the tutorials were going to be. And so you saw I posted a poll yesterday to see what did you guys want to see. And so the number one vote was to do a detailed hack, which is, you know, more detailed kind of makeup, um, using all the brushes. So we can talk about different things that each of the brushes do. So that's what we're going to do. Um, is there a certain eye look that you guys wanted to see? The one that I picked was one that I got tons of love um, in my eyeshadow bash, and it was a purple eye look um, using a illuminator. And so I thought we would do that eyeshadow look because so many ladies um, really liked it, unless you guys want to see something different. So I appreciate y'all hopping on. I'm just going to prime my face. So we're hearing that our primer or our stay spray you know, it's getting a facelift, getting new packaging, and it is supposed to be back next month. And I am so excited. This is all I have left. I use this every single day, and I've had it since August. So the products, again, they last, right? So I put this on, especially in the summertime. It's great to help cut down on oil if you're having problems with oil. Um, so yeah. And it, there's so many other things that it can do. So if you want to be on that pre-order list, just let me know because I do have a list going. Okay, so we're going to do a full-on hack. Hey, Amy. So the first thing I am going to do is do my eyes because um, with using the powder eyeshadows, you know that that powder can kind of fall down on your cream makeup and then you have to clean it up. So a lot of times I like to just do my eyes first. So I'm going to take my lightest highlight color. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for hopping in. I don't think I've ever seen you on here before. Hey, Beth. Yay, we're getting some new ladies on here. I don't know, Melissa and Beth, if you guys have heard of mascara makeup, but it is amazing. Hi, Samantha. So I'm just taking my lightest highlight here and priming my eyelids, okay? And we are gonna use all the brushes. Let's see. Where is my other brush? Okay, so I'm going to use the Eyeshadow Everything brush, which you guys know if you do not have this in your arsenal, you are missing out. Hey, Kay. Um, it's, if you struggle with putting on eyeshadows, this is the answer, I promise you. And then we will also use the Blend and Tap brush, which is amazing. Okay, so um, first, let me show you guys this. Da, 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 da. So this is our new release pattern, Sistine Compact. Um, I got it in the triple decker for me. I haven't even loaded it up yet, but it's three layers and it's kind of like foiled almost. It's so much prettier in person than it is in the picture. So these had run out in the triples, but I just heard that they restocked. So these are available. Um, if you love this compact, you're still able to snag it. Okay. So, the first color I'm going to use, 
let's see, what do I want to use, y'all? Because it was, I used Stay Golden the first time I did this, and Stay Golden is out of stock right now. So, let's do, you loaded yours. Isn't it so pretty, Sandy? It's so pretty, so pretty. All right, so let's do, we're going to use Pup right here. It's like a pretty kind of matte tan color, and I'm going to use the fluffy end of the eyeshadow everything. So I'm going to take Pup and I'm going to put it like in my crease and I'm going to put it on the lid as well. So Pup is a great color because it goes with like all eyeshadow looks. And I love to use it as a base. When, why I do that is for certain colors, if you have it as a base, it'll make your colors more vibrant when you use it as a base. So you can see it's just a pretty tan um, matte color, okay? Then I'm gonna take Gigi. Gigi right here is a pretty purple shimmer color. And again, I'm gonna take the Eyeshadow Everything brush, and this is gonna be my crease color. And you see, I always kinda tap it off because the powders can fall down. So you can see Gigi's a, like a light purple. And I hold my brush way back and I keep my eyes open because I have hooded eyes. And this will help me to see my crease. And I put it a little bit above the crease so that you can actually see the color. Like see when my eyes are open now, you can see the color where before you can't because the skin folds. So if you have that problem, that's a little trick. So I always have a transition color, and it's a color that kind of pulls the whole look together, and so tonight we're using Gigi. And it's a pretty purpley shimmer. You can see it's not super dark. It's a very, very good color. I'll do the same thing here. And by holding my brush way back, it allows me to have a lot of control. If I held my brush real close, the color's gonna be more concentrated. So. When I'm doing a transition color, I like it to be very blended. So I'm just doing like a windshield wiper until I get the look I want. And I'll tell you, I was never good at eyeshadows. You just get in there and you just play. And then you learn kind of techniques. And I kind of always have like a plan in mind. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for hopping on, guys. So... I always have kind of a plan. So I always have kind of like a base color. I have a middle shade that's gonna be my transition color. I have a dark color that's gonna be on the outer corner to create dimension. And then most often I have a, brighting, a bright color, like a bright shimmer color to go in the inner corner. Hey, Courtney. Okay, so that's Gigi, okay? Super easy. Then we're gonna take this beautiful, kind of dark purple shimmer. It's called Kin, K-I-N. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna use the Blend and Tap brush. This is a great brush to do your V with also. So I'm gonna use this like little flat end of this brush and we're gonna dip into Kin. And this is gonna be my outer corner. So I just kinda, see how I'm just kinda working it into the crease like a third of that outer portion. And then I'm gonna bring it down along that lash line. So I'm making a V like that on the outer part of my eye. And what that does is it just deepens that color. See that? And remember, less is more. You start with less and you can always add more if you feel like you need it. Do the same thing here. Can hear my daughter giggling. Wonder what she's up to. See that? How it just kind of deepens that outer corner. Okay, so you can see it's not blended very well. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Dana. Hey, Courtney. I think I already said hi to Courtney. I hope I did. <laughs> so I'm going to take the fluffy end of the brush. Sorry, guys. My dog wanted out. Okay, I'm gonna take the fluffy end of the brush and I'm just gonna blend 
this dark color so it's not very harsh and it just blends really easy into that GG color. So I just kind of like spin or swirl that color right where I want it. I don't want to drag it because if I drag it, if you're having problems with like your colors mixing too much, that's probably what you're doing. You're moving the color around just a little too much. All right, so that's that. And then we're going to take... What did I do with it? We're gonna take Glamazing. Now you guys know I love to use powder illuminators as eyeshadow, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna use my finger. I find when I use my finger on this part that it makes it more pigmented. Glamazing is a real pretty, just kinda like pearl shimmer color. And so I'm going to take this into the inner corner. See that? And I'm just going to drag it across that lid all the way over to the kin, which is that dark purple color. Do the same thing here. So these powder illuminators talk about versatility. So gorgeous. I did, I used Georgia this morning for my eye look. Hey, Leslie. All right, and then I'm just gonna go back to my eyeshadow everything brush, and I'm just gonna loosely or softly kind of go over that glamazing so that it blends right into my purples. Just so everything kind of works together. Okay, and we're gonna stop with eyes for right now, okay? And we'll come back to finish them up. Hey, Christy. Okay, now let's talk about some of the face brushes that we're gonna use. So um, I am a huge fan of the Buffy brush. This is a more dense brush, so this is a great brush if you're wanting more full coverage or detailed work. But you have to be careful with this brush because you can easily, hey Laura, you can easily pick up too much product. But it gives you a gorgeous finish. It's perfect for ladies with mature skin um, because it keeps the makeup from like settling into fine lines. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. So we're gonna start with um, using this brush. We're also going to use the Detailed Hack brush, which I know you guys have heard me say a million times. This is like the bomb brush for contouring. It makes contouring so easy. So if you're struggling with this, you most definitely, or contour, you most definitely wanna get the Detailed Hack brush. We're also going to use um, the B Squared. This is the, the blush and bronzer brush, so we'll put on our bronzer and our powder. Um, we've got lots of brushes we're gonna use. So let's do our Frenchie first. So Frenchie is the color that I use for color correction. Now in the mornings, my dark circles are a lot worse than they are right now, but you can still see I have some discoloration here. It's like a bluish purple kind of color. All of our colors, you know, we have different things and different products that we can use to help color correct. So I can help you uh, pick the appropriate color. For me, it's Frenchie. And Frenchie is a lip and cheek color. Um, again, shows the versatility of the products. But I just take Frenchie, and I'm just gonna take my finger and rub it right over that discoloration. Now some ladies can use Mango Highlight if you have a darker bluish color or dark spots. Some ladies can use sunlit if your spots are, are more bluish. So it really just kind of depends on what color your dark circles are. So I just kind of rub that on and get it ready. Okay, first we're gonna use the Detailed Hack Brush. Love this brush for contour. You really can use either side of the brush. I tend to like this flat side because I can pick up the product on one side and easily place my contour, okay? The other side of the brush can easily be used for contour as well. This is a great brush to apply your contour to your lip or your nose as well. So we're gonna start with our contour and I have been loving Olive lately. 
Um, Olive, Olive is a very warm contour and I hadn't used it for a while and I used it the other day and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I forgot about this. So I'm gonna pick up my contour on one side of my detailed hack and we're gonna do our contour first. See how I just picked it up on one side of the brush. Hey, Danny. All right, so remember your contour is gonna go under those cheekbones. Remember where the ear meets the face coming at an angle to the corner of the mouth. And I just wanna make sure, you can see I just kinda of like dab it on. You wanna make sure that you do not go past the middle of the eye, okay? You can go as dark with this as you want. And I've got a, a window over here, so that's why it's looking so bright. Do the same thing here. But I love this brush because I feel like it makes putting the contour on a little bit easier and a little bit more precise. Okay, then I'm gonna take my contour and we're gonna apply it to our forehead, right at the hairline. And again, this is to create shadows and dimension. And I kinda, you can see I'm blending that out. So you want it to go darker at the hairline to lighter and lighter and lighter. So don't let the line go completely away or the darkness, okay? Then I'm gonna take this side of the brush and we're gonna go here under our jawline and contour this area to create a shadow so that it makes us look thinner, okay? Just like that. Hey, Monica, all right? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Buffy brush, and I like to use the large side for this part, and I am going to put on my all over shade, and I'm wearing Sandy, and remember this brush is gonna pick up a lot of product, so be really careful not to put too much product on. Um, but this is a great brush, like I said, for more like full coverage, because it's going to leave more product on your face. So this is gonna go anywhere a man's beard's gonna be, and that's the benefit of putting your contour on first. You can see I know exactly where to put my highlight color, right up underneath of it, and it makes your contour look a little bit more defined or chiseled. So we go on, on our lip. I go just a little bit above my contour on each side. Remember, we're going to brighten under our eyes. And then I like to touch up my nose, just like that. And I like to take a little bit above my eyebrows. Okay, just like that. Thank you, Lisa, you're so sweet. I'm still getting used to it, but I really do like it. I really needed something different, and that that did it. That certainly did it. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brightening highlight now. I can flip my brush over and use this small side. Another brush that I absolutely love is the Best Blend Forever. It's a great brush to um, put on your, your brightening highlight as well. So I'm gonna show you how to use this brush. This is a great brush for all over application. If you like a light coverage, this is a great brush for ladies with mature skin. Again, it's gonna lend a very light hand when you're applying your makeup. So again, it'll keep the makeup from like settling into fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. So this is a beautiful brush. Um, I love this brush to apply my blush. I love this brush to apply my illuminator. I mean, it is just, you, I could just go on and on and on and on. All right, so we're going to use the small end of this brush and I'm gonna go into my light highlight color, just like this, and we're going to apply our brightening shade. And you can see I'm going heavier with it because this is more fancy look. So we go down and over and we're making our upside down pie piece, right? So you can see why I love this brush because you really can get that detailed work. So I'm just applying. I love that I can drag it up and clean up that eyeshadow as well, and it kind of gives you an eye lift. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna take the brush, we're gonna apply our light color here, right in the middle of our forehead, and we're gonna do our chin. Just like that to brighten, okay? I'm gonna go back to my detailed hack, that pointed end, let's contour our nose. So I just kind of pinch the brush like this. And when you're contouring your nose, you wanna keep the lines pretty close together because that's the whole purpose of contour is to make your nose look smaller. Okay, then I can just take my finger with my light brightening highlight and come straight down the center to brighten. Okay, so we've got all that on. I look crazy, trust me. Okay, I'm gonna take the blush and bronzer brush and we're gonna just blend. I'm gonna do my highlights first and you can see I'm using the fluffy end of this brush and you can easily blend with this side as well. I feel like it keeps me from picking up too much of the product off of my face, but it still blends beautifully. So you can see I'm just blending in my highlight colors with my contour there. Then I can lightly blend the contour on my nose. You can see I'm just lightly going over. I don't want that to go completely away. And you can use all different color contours for your nose as well. Okay, then I'm gonna drag this contour down. You can see I flipped my brush. It's a little bit more dense on this side. So for contour blending, I tend to like to use this side of the brush. I'm just gonna pull that contour down. I've already got my forehead and then we can blend our contour here. And you can see guys, when you're doing your contour, I just lightly blend in an upward motion. So when you see, when I look forward, see that? It kind of thins out, there's a bright light over here. It just kind of thins out my face. See that? The other cool thing, I'm gonna make it a little darker so you can see. The other cool thing about this, depending on how you get it blended, and I'll tell you the detailed hack, you can blend very nice with this brush too for contour. If I was to blend it down too much, I can take the brush that I put my highlight on, hey Holly, and we use the Buffy, and I can go in and pick a little bit of my highlight color up, and I can apply this and really clean up that line, that contour line to make it look more defined. You see that? You can probably see it better on that side because of the light over here. And it just gives a more chiseled, clean contour look. Do you see that? Okay. The other cool thing, if I wanna brighten up that inner corner just a little bit more, I like to use a color called linen. Linen is a highlight color that's very light. It's right here. Um, and we can use, let's use the small side of the Buffy. So I can just pick up a little bit of linen and just swipe it right there to really brighten up. See that? And then I can just lightly blend to really brighten up my eyes. Now some ladies can wear linen as their brightening highlight. It's a little too light for me. See how that kind of brightens that up a little? So that's a little trick too with your Buffy brush. Okay, so we've got our highlight and contour on. Let's do our blush. Now, I got some amazing news that Summer Love is back in stock. I'm just putting some lip conditioner on. 
Those lip conditioners should be back soon too, and they're amazing. All right, so I heard that Summer Love is back, okay? And it's probably, I, I that was the first lip color that I ever wore um, and that I purchased. It's a beautiful pink shade. It's not super bright, but I love it, okay? So I am super stoked because it's been out of stock for a really long time. And so like, I'm so excited that it's back. So if you don't have it, you need it, okay? We're gonna use the Best Blend Forever brush and I'm gonna dip down into Summer Love and we're gonna use this as our blush. It's like the perfect pink. And so our blush is just gonna go right above our contour. I don't wanna come over too much into my light brightening highlight, but see how it just makes, it's just the perfect pink. And I just kind of place that on. The Best Blend Forever brush kind of blends as you go. And I just think it gives a really good finish, especially for your blush. Okay, isn't that pretty? All right, then we are gonna take, hey Taylor, yes Leslie, hey Nancy. We are gonna take the Detailed Hack one more time, smaller end, and I'm going to contour under my lips. So I just take my contour color, you see that? And I'm not really lining my lips, I'm just going under. And it gives my lips like some plump, okay? Isn't that so good? So that's another place that you can contour. And my one of my favorite lip combos since Summer Love is back, hey Leslie, hey girl, okay, is Royal. Royal is, I don't talk about it a lot, obviously you can see I use it. It's like a wine color. It's a really pretty lip color. Um, I love to mix it with Summer Love. Look how pretty that color is. It's like, it's like a burgundy wine color. So that is Royal, it's beautiful, but I love to mix it with Summer Love. So let's do that. It makes like the perfect mauve. Perfect combo. Look. Mm. I love it. I'm so glad Summer Love is back. Like, I, that's my last tin of it. Um, I have one in my compact in my in my um, clutch. And then that's my last one. I was getting nervous like, oh gosh, I'm going to run out of it. What am I going to do? Okay. Now, let's see. Let's do our eyebrows. So, for the eyebrows, we're going to use the Hotline Brush. If you um, do your eyebrows and you don't have this brush, you're missing out. It's got the spoolie end that's gonna help you with brushing your eyebrows out. Now you can use eyeshadow or contour to fill in your brows. I love to use contour. Yes, Christy, it's a great combo. Um, but you can see this side of the brush, it's got like these little bristles that make it very natural and very easy to do your eyebrows. Now I like to use shadow contour, which is right here. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of shadow. And you can see I have pretty full eyebrows, but I like to just fill them in. Doing your eyebrows kind of frames your face. And gives you a more a detailed look. So I just kind of fill them in where they need some love. I feel like the contour kind of gives them more shape, if that makes any difference. But you can see I have pretty dark eyebrows, the difference that that makes. Just a tiny difference. But this brush makes doing it so stinking easy. But you can use eyeshadow too. Some ladies like to do that. Hey, 
Becky. Okay. Then we are going to go to the multitasker brush. This is a great brush to apply your lip color. You can see most of the time I use my fingers, but if I'm using like a dark, like red, I'm gonna always use my multitasker. If I want to pack on eyeshadow colors um, and foil them on, I'm gonna use the multitasker. So it's a great, great brush. You can even do your contour on your nose with this. You can line your lips with it. You can do just about anything. But I'm gonna show you how to, I use it to put my eyeliner on. So you can see it's got like this flat end. And we have our Black Friday Cream Eyeliner, okay? It's amazing, I've had it since November. Look, I have a ton left. We're told that it might be back tomorrow. So if you have been waiting on that, um, it may be back tomorrow. So I'm gonna use this brush here to do my eyeliner on the top. So it's very creamy, super easy to apply with this brush. Just glides right on. See that? Bam. Goes right on. Yes, Christy, it's supposed to be back tomorrow. I'm hoping that it will be. I'm hoping it will be. All right. Now, I could put that black eyeliner underneath. I might do a little of that. So I can just take this eyeliner and go like almost half the way under. Okay, but I also like to take the eyeshadow everything brush, this blunt end, and where we use that dark purple color, Kin, this one right here. I'm gonna drag that color on that lower lash. And what that does, it just kind of mirrors up top and kind of ties that look together. See that? Okay, so we'll do that. Let's pop on some mascara. Black, oh, Black Friday's available now. Amy said it's, it's available, so if you are wanting it, the eyeliner, it's available on the website now. How exciting. So go snag it, Christy. Make sure that you use your party link, okay? Put on some mascara. Sorry, this is painful to watch, I know. <laughs> that. So we've got that. Um, the other cool thing I wanted to show you is back to our illuminator. And let's stick with Glamazing because that's the one we used on our eyes. So here's Glamazing. And I'm going to go back to that Blend and Tap eyeshadow brush. It's got that flat end on it that I used for the eyeshadow, but then it also has um, this kind of domed end, you see that? That domed end fits perfectly right here in the corner of your eyes. So, you can pick that up, and I'm just gonna use Glamazing, and I can put that right in here. See how it kind of gives me a little bit of shimmer, and it makes my eyes look a little bit more open. Do you see that? So good. Okay. Then we are going to use, let's use Dulce Illuminator. We're going to go back to the Best Blend Forever brush. Another great use of this brush. The eyeliner is legit. The eyeliner is absolutely amazing. And it's been sold out for a really long time. It came back for like an hour, a couple weeks ago, and then was sold out again. So, yeah, it's totally worth every single penny. Thank you guys, y'all are so sweet. Okay, 
So Dulce is a beautiful cream illuminator. It's got like gold flecks in it. It's beautiful, I love it. Since I've got it here, you know I love to put it in my lip colors. So you can do that with your illuminator. But I'm also gonna use the Best Blend Forever and I'm gonna pick up some of this illuminator and we're going to place this right on top of our blush, right on top of that cheekbone. See if I can get the light to pick it up. You gotta have the light just right. But this will help give you like a glow when the light hits your face. Can you see it? Sometimes my lighting gets hard. Okay, another cool place to use your illuminators is right here at your brow. And again, it just kind of ties in that eyeshadow look and makes it look more crisp and finished, if that makes sense. Okay, so we've got that. Sorry, I had a call. The other thing I wanted to show you was Bella Bronzer. I know I'm going all out tonight, y'all. Christy's going to get her eyeshadow. <laughs> I mean, her eyeliner. Woohoo! Hey, April. April and D. I'm not sure which one it is. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. So, Bella Bronzer. This time of year, bronzer is amazing, right? Bronzer is made to give you like a sun-kissed kind of look, like you've been out in the sun. Hey, April, thanks. I'm so glad you're here. Um, and so, Bella can be kind of scary, right? Bella doesn't have to be scary. So, best brush to apply your Bella is gonna be the B squared, your blush and bronzer brush. I'm just gonna use this fluffy side and just pick up a little Bella. You can see just like that. And this just goes anywhere the sun would naturally hit your face. So like right here on top of the forehead, do you see the difference in this side and this side? It just adds some warmth to your face. So if you are somebody who hasn't gotten out in the sun and you want some warmth, you're gonna do like a C right here, okay? And I usually go down my neck with it, just to kind of even up. I don't want my neck, my face to be a different color than my neck. But you can see on this side how that really warmed my face up. So don't be afraid of Bella. Bella is gorgeous to line your lips and then fill in with a lip color. We do have bundles with these two together, um, and you end up getting the Bella for $4 instead of $14. So the bundle saves you $10. So if you don't have it yet, I would recommend it. It's great. It just adds some warmth to your face. And you see, I put like a tiny bit. This I've had forever, like months and months and months and months. So Bella is amazing. Don't be afraid of her. She will really warm you up and get look like you've been out in the sun, but in a healthy way, okay? Hey, Laura. You're so sweet. Um, if you don't like Bella and you're very fair and you're scared, we also have Cayman bronzer, which is this color. It's powder. Um, it's a little bit lighter. I love to use it as eyeshadow, so that's another way that you can use it. Um, and it comes in the bundle also, and you still save $10. So it's just, I mean, amazing. All right, the last brush I wanna show you is the Power Powder Brush. And I don't talk a ton about this brush. Um, this is a beautiful brush to apply all of your makeup as well. You can do a full face with it. I love it to apply my setting powder. So you can see like, see how the brush is angled right here at the bottom? When I, my problem area it, for creasing and stuff and fine lines is right here under my eyes. So I really, really wanna set with my powder under my eyes and this brush is perfect for it. So we have our vanilla dust setting powder. You can see I'm running out but I just pick up some of that setting powder. Now you can use any sad setting powder, y'all. You can use any translucent powder, but I just load that up and I'm just gonna pat it right here under my eyes. And so that way I don't have any problems with creasing or smudging of my mascara, just like that, okay? And then I would take my B squared and put on the rest of my powder. So I just kind of swirl it around and I'm just gonna set in my makeup. Now you don't have to set with a powder if you like the more dewy look, but if you like a more matte finish, then you want to use a setting powder. So 
We used almost every single brush. The only brush that I didn't show you was the 30 second hack brush. And this is a great beginner brush. A lot of times I recommend this to ladies um, putting to do their full their hack. Um, I used it today, so I still use this brush. So this is the only brush that we did not talk about tonight. I used every other brush. The cool thing about mascara is you can use one brush and do your entire face. But I wanted to show you a more detailed hack um, and I wanted to show you what you can do with these brushes. So if you're wanting to build your collection or you're having problem areas, um, ways to kind of help with that. I'm just picking up a little illuminator. See how I can put it here on my nose and my cupid's bow. Just to give me a little bit more glisten. Okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Does anybody have any questions about anything? Um, I hope that you guys liked it. Um, my hair is going crazy. I'll post my before and after picture to show you guys. Remember, this makeup can be as simple as you want it to be or as fancy as you want it to be. That's one of the things I absolutely love about it. Um, I hope you guys like the eyeshadow. This was one of the, work, the looks that I did months ago, and I constantly get love over this this eyeshadow look and it's super easy and so you can get that glamazing illuminator and have multiple uses for it use it as your your illuminator and use it as your eyeshadow so it's super versatile um does anybody have any questions appreciate y'all this has been so fun so many of you guys have been on here tonight and supporting i just love that so let me know what else you guys want to see. I think we're going to do some other like um, cool eyeshadow looks. Come up, maybe some blues, um, maybe some tans and blues. We'll do some different eyeshadow looks. So be looking um, for different eyeshadows. If there's certain eyeshadows you're wanting to see, challenge me. Send me some colors and say, come up with something with this color and I can do a tutorial. So we'll be working on that this week. And keep your eyes open. We should be having some restocks. Um, hopefully the brush cleaner and stay spray will be back in July. So I'm super stoked for that. And what else? I think that's it. So I appreciate all your all's love and support as always. And if you need anything, you know where to find me. Bye guys.